So can't you see there is a divine intelligence going on? And this divine intelligence is calculated everything. You see, just talk about chemistry. You know, all these atoms, the, the smallest numbers in atoms. In atoms, there are atomic numbers. Number of protons, number of electrons, number of neutrons. And they're making balancing going on, continuously balancing. It's just like an orbiting. It's just like a cloud. A clouds of these all, you know, elements. And they keep working on together. I said, who made this? Who made this all? How can you say it's, an, it's like an accident? It's a divine intelligence. Each atomic number, if it changes, it changes all the mass, it changes all the atom, and changes all the property of the mass. And you said that, no, it's the same thing. It's something accident going on. Physical law of nature under these gravitational values we have. You know, if the gravity changes, everything changes. We have to make a new physics. We have to create new physics. You know that if the gravity changes a little bit, if sun loses its gravity a little bit, the earth will drift away and will become a dwarf planet. And if sun, you know, gets little stronger, it will suck the earth into it and earth will burn. Like what you know that what will happen. If only some solar flare comes, the whole of the earth can be destroyed. And you are talking that nothing is there. This is all calculation when Allah says that you cannot catch one another because if they have catch one another then there will be change in the direction of the sun in the distance I mean and everything will collapse and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created all the universe into the cosmic balance and this balance is so sophisticated that every numbered values this is the point here. So there is divine intelligence. Allah keeps saying in the Quran, can't you see the birds, how they fly? How they balance it in the air? If there's no air pressure, there is no, you know, avionics. Gone. No air dynamics. Gone. So every dynamics of air is because you have pressure and which you call uh, atmosphere. If there is no atmosphere, sir, you know, in the Mars, in the Mars, if you want to put a drone, it has to make, you know, this, uh, what you call uh, turns, uh, the laps, loops of this wing, double time than the Earth because of lack of atmosphere. So if the airplane has to fly in the Mars, it has to move, put more extra propulsion to fly it, like jet, like these jet liners, they have to do extra effort to fly there because of lack of atmosphere. So if atmosphere changes, the entire concept of science will change. Can't you see? If this calculation made us this science, then when Allah says that I have calculated everything, you don't take care of that. You said, so what? Allah says in Surah Maryam, chapter 19, last verses, Allah says, everything I have numbered. To creation, up to everything I have numbered. So the point is, keep contemplating. You will see that everything in front of you on horizon, Allah says in Surah Fursila, chapter 47, in chapter 41, sorry, verse number 57, Allah says that we show, we will show our signs, you know, on the horizon. Or in the horizon, we will sign, you know, horizon with the cut of the land, with the air, you find the line. We will surely show our signs in the horizon. And within your own selves, horizon, and everywhere you can see the contemplated, the eyes can go and within your own self, then your heart will testify that this is Al-Haq. I said, you know, just contemplate on your own body. Just contemplate on heart. This heart is a cardiac organ. It's a full of muscle. We call them cardiac. You see, this heart is full of muscle. You see, if you have an arm, you keep doing like this, you know, your biceps and triceps, keep doing, doing, doing it after I think so even few minutes, you can't bear the pain. You know that? Because your muscle will get fatigued or will be torn if you don't take care of it. Tendons, muscle, ligaments. But this heart, since you were born, it's a muscle. It's still like going on and it never gets tired. I said, who kept it going on? Who keeps it going on without any fatigue? 
and the electricity you know heart produces little current in the amperes you know and that there's the two layers of the heart upper and bottom part you know and then the nodes they do like this and the heart you know contract and relax and this is how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created this can't you see you know cuttlefish three hearts three or two i don't remember but at least two hearts imagine that this is the creation of god go to mariana trench look at the pressure there 33000 feet the pressure is so intense the pressure of square inches that you will be squeezed like 1 million or 100000 elephants you know step on you so much pressure you find marine life there who do is making this all i said this is endless i can speak endlessly and you know keep going on the few points here just to open the eyes quran is the book that gives challenges it's reasons with you allah created everything he is khaliq and you will die one day and you have to pay for your accountability as christians roughly have this idea you know about uh, what you call redeeming roman catholics i rather say not protestants they believe somehow you know about purgatory pur uh, about this uh, purgatory yes there where you you know go temporarily and then you go to heaven to hell temporarily you see every religion tells that if you don't do things there is something waiting for you so better wake up and seek ye the truth it shall set you free this is what jesus christ said and allah also says that you seek for the truth i will open your eyes if allah wants to put islam into the chest he will open the chest if he doesn't want it he will constrict the chest that the man is you know just going to up to the heaven and his chest is getting constricted this is chapter 6 verse 124 and 125 wa akhiru da'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin